and he is joining us here insania congratulations on first place two or two here spring two how does it Thank feel you. to get first yet again in the region feels good but i have to say you guys are actually so bad at giving mvps i don't know <laughs> like <laughs> how how do i get this one okay game two okay game one mvp is the pango game two is me game three is nisha he cooked them solo. Whoa! If you if you want no, input, you we know, try to give this you man come here and say, you know, we have a four Bring me on set. the panel. Okay, oh let's get him yeah. in here. Tiebreakers. Let's let's Drive get in Sania in right now. All right, done deal. Done deal. He said that, and you can give out all the MVPs you want then. Easy. But, uh, all Easy. right. Well then. Wait, wait, hold on. Where where do you disagree with our assessment of your gameplay on Shame Protector? Did you not think that we had really solid reasonings? I don't think I did anything this game. I feel like Nisha just killed them all, and I was just kind of clicking armor on Zai from bottom lane. Exactly. I wasn't even playing my lane. Good like, job. I didn't even play my own lane. Like, what did I do in this game? You Nothing. Were you were tree and attacker, bro. You, you, you innovated the way of playing yeah. tree. Yeah. Did you see your stats? I think if you want to give me MVP, it's game two. Game two was perfect. You I think all the smokes, all of them, all even right. William Lee said I did a good job. That's that happens it. like twice a year, guys. Really? <laughs> so that's it. You just want yeah. to be praised for game two. That's where all of this is yes, going. Yes. Oh. Who gets, who gets the most good jobs? <laughs> <laughs> who gets the most good jobs from William then, in general? I don't know. He's pretty scared. Maybe Mickey? I don't know. Box it. I don't know. He doesn't really say good job. Oh. Oh my God. He's more a carrot than the, I mean, more a stick than the carrot kind of guy, I guess. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. <laughs> That's a good saying. Sorry, now I talked over your question. No, 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 you go, you go. I'll go last. All right, cool. All right, Insania, it's time. The Liquid Naruto Munch drop just dropped online. Thank you, Liquid. It's what's crazy. Your, what's your favorite piece from the, from the drop, bro? Weebs. Um, Liquid's going to be mad at me for not knowing the exact name, but it's a Kakashi hoodie. Yeah. It looks really, really cool. We have like all these LQD hoodies that you see me wearing at events all the time. It's like in the same style, but with Naruto on top. So I'm like over the moon. It literally could not be better than what they made. I'm so happy. When? This Naruto drop is sick, and you guys should all check it out. Yeah. Unless it's all sold out, TL, because it is 25 minutes TL. past the slash store. Yeah. <laughs> when are you going to stop watching anime? That's my question. I kind of haven't watched anime in a while. Ever since I finished Naruto, I just haven't watched anime. I've been watching House... Yeah, and, uh, I wanna. I wanna. Chuck. I wanna save myself. Last time we asked you, my brain had the biggest amount of lag. I was like, Nah, bro, I have no idea what show that is. I do know what show you were talking about. The house show, right? It's the dude that ends up. Uh, it's dude. It's a, it's a dude. And he walks around with a cane and he it's like. It's a dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. this guy. And there's in this the guy, place. and then and he's got he does like this, this thing. chick, and then the patients, and they're all sick with different kinds of cancer and yeah. diseases. Yeah, that one. I got you. No, sorry, lizard. Uplifting. Yeah. What? <laughs> What do you think about Toridu Thunder? Like, uh, these guys show up out of nowhere to kind of surprise everyone in Division 1. I think they're actually really, really good. Uh, I've been watching their five player for a while now. I think, like, almost before whatever, I, I don't know what team he played on before this, but whatever team he was before then, I was looking at a lot of his replays. He has this crazy playstyle that I think is like, um, he just, you know, he dies a lot. But the way he dies in is really annoying to play against. It's kind of like reminiscent of old Pilai Dai in a way. Mm -hmm. But he, I feel like he really finds a lot of good pressure with this hero. And his understanding of Dora is really, really good. So I, I really enjoy his gameplay. I think there's a lot to learn from how he plays. Even though it's very, very different from what I do, I think I uh, have a lot of respect for Kaori. I think he's very strong. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, and a real question, I guess. Uh, going into the Dream League, do you have a approach that you guys are specifically taking to it? Is it full try hard? Is it just experiment with things pre-major? Like, what's your ideas? I mean, I think our approach for season two was uh, try having the cores playing as few pubs as possible. And that worked out. But I think for ESL, we're going to probably look to switch it around and have our cores probably play a little bit more uh, Dota 2. And, you know, we're going to be going to boot camp. So uh, we're all going to be gathered around together. And you'll see us probably in the Alienware facility next time on the stream. Do you guys miss boot camping or do you personally miss boot, boot camping with the team and having everyone together? I mean, I do miss the team, but it's like, I know now that I'm going to go, I won't be back home for like so long that mm -hmm. I just really enjoy being home. Like, it's nice to get to spend some time with family and Agnes and just like get to be home and not like uh, have to be so... I don't know. It's like when you're at boot camp, there's not so much to do. You just play Dota yeah. all day. Yeah. I mean, that's the point, I guess. But like, even though you do the same thing at home, it just feels more relaxed and you have like, you kind of feel more that you have more time to do whatever you want. If you want to do something else, there's mm -hmm. always the option to do it. 
Yeah, a little bit more freedom. What, what do you think? What's the boot camp buff percentage for Liquid? Ah, quite a lot. I mean, like I said, our cores have been chilling. So I think uh, getting them on boot camp usually gets them playing. And then just being around each other and having people around you to talk about Dota. Like, you know, let's say you're just watching some random stream and you see something cool, but it's not for your role. Like, I see some three player doing something cool and I want to show Zai. And then, like, I don't know, messaging someone through Discord doesn't feel the same as just like walking over me. Hey, dude, you should watch this. Like, look at this. Like, you, and it sparks conversation and you start talking to each other. Whereas, like, if you just send someone a message, they're just going to reply when they see it. Does he leave you in red? Um, no, I think yeah. he usually replies. Okay. So that's a good boy. <laughs> there are definitely others on my team that leave me on red, though. Oh. Uh, no names will be called out, but. No naming yeah. and sharing. All right. Uh, by the way, say hi to Agnes for me. But I do have a question. Who do you think is going to be the fourth, the last uh, team taking the Western Europe slot now that you guys have beaten already Thunders and there's going to be tiebreakers for it? Um, who's the tiebreakers between? Is it all? It's she really test of no knowledge. Yeah, I, I think okay. it's Okay, no need, no need. Okay. I, Essentially, just say any team. Just say any team yeah, yeah, yeah. that isn't okay. already qualified. I think, they can still I think make it. out of all the teams that we played against, I think Ordu Thunders were probably the best. And I put Nigma as a second, actually. I think they're really yeah. cooking something up. They're starting to click for them. Um, I think they have some bad games here and there, but I'm I'm an Enigma believer. Let's go, King. Okay, alrighty. Well, perfect. I love to hear it. Well, we are excited for those tiebreakers, but congratulations again, Insanior, on such an amazing performance this tour for you guys over at Liquid. Thank you. Congrats. Bye. Our MVP. Let's go! <laughs>